Oh, so I'm so glad you are off the pill, my dear. I know. I've been writing about it, blogging about it after 15 wow. years. So now you're going to get in touch with your body. And, and that's the thing. I mean, originally I went on it because I had ovarian cysts and, you know, what are your birth control options? And for a young woman, I felt like be on the pill. I don't have to worry about pregnancy, treat my cysts. Well, I went to the doctor when I, when, I, when I was married, and I had endometriosis, terrible periods. So he mm -hmm. said, you have two choices, get pregnant or go on the pill. And I thought, nah, I got a divorce instead. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, there are a lot of options, and I researched them myself because I thought if I'm going off the pill, well, so then what am I going to go listen on? Listen to this. So yesterday she comes in, and I'm sitting, and I'm looking over at her. She has this little round tummy. <sighs> And she never has a And my tummy. boobs, I feel like I could be milked. They're out of control. My Huge. boobs are so big. No, but so swollen. I said, now you are going to get to be in touch with your real body. And, and that's what I guess has been so just fascinating. Because all the things I forgot that happened. The, when you put on the water and then... I like at one point, like today, I'm super horny. I must be ovulating. Like I, well, I haven't ovulated in 15 years. <laughs> so I'm just like, I will mount anything right now. I'm just crazy. I'm going to let her borrow my fabulous Pele obsidian dildo. <laughs> um, but if, there you, were, if you're a good girl. If I'm a good girl and I do all of my work <laughs> and I get it all done. But that's how I feel. So it's, it's like getting in touch with your sexual self. Yeah. And what are your options? So I looked at the IUD because that's very popular right now, because they have um, one with the hormone and one without. So you can, because there are two forms of birth control, barrier and hormone. So you can get either, and the IUD, they insert it in your uterus. It costs 500 bucks to $1,000 once. It's good for years. I didn't for choose. how long? Years, until you take it out. I mean, you could really live in there. And sometimes like it years. comes out accidentally. I didn't choose the IUD, because one in every 1,000 IUD fittings, whatever you want to call it, um, the skill of the doctor is very important. They perforate your uterus. They can, one out of a thousand. I read that, and I know a lot of women, when I was at the clinic, the woman said she had her IUD and she loved it, and some women do, but for me, I didn't want that. I didn't want anything in my body permanent, and that's why I didn't go for the Nuva ring, which is that little ring of hormones that you put inside and you change it once a month, like when you get your period. Hormone again, I didn't am, want that. I am a diaphragm devotee. And the problem with the diaphragm... She sold me. <laughs> the problem with the diaphragm is that you have to be a little sexually sophisticated in order to use it. Well, when I went to get fitted, so I go in to the clinic, and who's there to fit me for my diaphragm? I walk in there. It looks like the Oracle from the Matrix. Did she give you a cookie? <laughs> she did. She had the same look, the same voice. And she's like, you know, I thought you were going to be kind of frumpy because you were asking for a diaphragm because no one asks for diaphragm. Frumpy? Frumpy because it's, it's like... Not an exciting birth control choice. Oh, you mean like know. you don't have five a thousand dollars to spend on an IUD? I don't know what it was, but what's interesting is when we, you know, I got in the stirrups and she put the diaphragm in, and then she was like, "Now you take it out and you do it." I was a little intimidated, and I had had a diaphragm years before I went on the pill, and I was like, "Wait a second, stop that!" And I put my fingers in, pulled it out, folded it over my finger, put it back in, and it was like you said, getting back in touch. What the interior oh part of your body. Women need to know what their vagina inside feels like. We need to know what how how our sex organ is made, how it's put together. We need to look at it. We need to feel it. We need to become very familiar with our vulva. And the secretions have changed. I'm, I'm keeping track of everything. Oh, it's fun. Come it's on. It's like my whole body is changing. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I'm off the hormones, it's really fun. I have to... Oh, please, women... Think about it. Think about it. You posted on the website this new technique I've never heard of. Scud? No, it's called R-I-S-U-G. Risug? Risug? I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's coming out of India. And it's a procedure. Risug. In a doctor's office where they go in. It's male birth control. They take a little non-toxic chemical that's very cheap. They inject it in the van's deference, the little veins that go from your... That connect the sperm to the hoot nanny out the end of the pile. And it yeah. keeps the sperm from going... You still ejaculate, but it keeps the sperm from going out. And then if you want to reverse it, you go in and they inject a little water and you're done. And it can work for years. Now, for... And it's totally reversible, unlike a vasectomy. Yeah, so just consider the different options, everyone. And I think, guys, if you really love women, 
consider this new system. Okay, let us know about it.